Hey, what is good, y'all? It's Prime Anon. This is another talking video. So I'm finna recap like the, what, first three days of the NBA bubble? Yeah, let's get into it. This is like my thoughts and opinions, all sorts of good stuff. Um, all right, let's start off. Day one. Pelicans versus Jazz. Jazz win by two. Both of the games on day one were amazing, by the way. Um, I believe the Jazz would win two. Zion Williamson didn't get many minutes, which did surprise some people. It does make sense, however, if they do wish to attempt a playoff push, they're going to have to give him more minutes. But long term, it's definitely going to be better to keep him out, keep him healthy. Because what do you have to gain? You know, there's no way you upset the Lakers in the first round, okay? But... If you, say, lose in the bubble, you can keep Zion healthy, get the young guys some good chemistry, even though, you know, you have, like, eight games or whatever, and get a potentially good draft pick. It makes more sense for the Pelicans to tank, in my opinion. They're doing that so far. Lakers Clippers. LeBron James played the best defense I've ever seen him play in my life. Um... Insane game. One of the best games I've ever seen, quite honestly. Uh, he hasn't been shooting too well so far. In the two games, he's only shot 39%, I believe. That could potentially be an issue. Anthony Davis did awful today. Psh, who did they play? The Raptors, yeah. Raptors looking like two title threats, by the way. Um, long story short, Anthony Davis is getting a lot of points off three throws. That does somewhat concern me. I think he will get over it eventually, but we will see how it goes. I still see the Lakers as the second best team in the West. That has not changed. Um, so today's action, there was a couple notable things. TJ Warren just yes to TJ Warren. We'll go with that. Um, Kelly Olynyk had 20 points in the fourth quarter. We'll talk about that. And we'll talk about Philly's performance against the Pacers actually. So we'll start off with that cuz that's going to be the hot topic of the and Bucks versus um, Bucks, 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 Bucks. I'm losing my mind. Bucks versus Celtics. We'll talk about that. That might have been yesterday, but oh well. We'll start off with Bucks versus Celtics. Jason Tatum did absolutely awful. Uh, makes sense. He's still a young player, you know, still developing. He's being viewed as like the focal point of the team, which is a lot of pressure on a young dude. I'm not overly concerned yet. If it does happen again, in a game or two, you know, if he, like, repeats that, I would definitely be concerned if I was a Boston fan. And, yeah, the Bucks are as strong as ever. I'm fairly sure they have the one seed locked up. They're just trying to get everyone warmed back up. Um, so, Kelly Olenek were off of 20 points in the fourth quarter to win against the Nuggets, as you all can see, you know, from, a, from the 2K gameplay I got going on in the background. Really not too terribly surprising. The Heat winning against the Nuggets. Kelly Olenek going off was surprising, and so was Mad Leonard not getting any minutes. Um, one thing that I did notice, which concerns me but also gives me hope, is that the veterans did not do especially good, with the exception of Kelly Olenek and Jimmy Butler. Everyone else is just kind of mediocre, you know? Like, Gwen Dragic didn't do too good. Myers Leonard didn't even play. Iggy did decent. Jay Crowder did decent too. The young guys really stood out, and that's a great thing for Miami, especially because if the veterans can turn it on in the playoffs and the young guys stay on, I see them as a very good team to take down the Bucks potentially, hopefully. Fingers crossed, y'all. Yeah. Um, good for Kelly Olenek. Uh... Now, the game of the day, by far, everyone's talking about it, wasn't even televised. Philly versus Indiana. Featuring the legend himself, TJ Warren. So, you know, Philly and Indiana played. Philly did great when Joel Embiid was on the floor. The man went off. He had like 40 points, 20-something rebounds, I believe. Just like rough estimate. Um, good for him. However, they still couldn't win the game, despite that monster effort. 
And if I'm Joel Embiid, I'm going to begin to look at a 76ers really built for me. Is this really the best way I can win? Because right now, it's not looking like it is. Um, however, we can... Uh, furthermore, well, more discussion. Ben Simmons, a power forward, changed, changed absolutely nothing, which I half predicted, believe it or not. Still an awfully built team. Um, Shake Milton at point guard. I don't even know the dude's stats. I don't think he did anything, quite honestly. Um. Yes, TJ Warren went off for fifty-two point or fifty-two, fifty-three, something like that. Absolute legend right there. Uh, traded for like what cash considerations in a second rounder or something like that. Absolute steal by Indiana for that game alone. Honestly, uh, Phoenix, what are you doing? You're beginning to look like the New York Knicks of the West. Um, y'all messed up big time there. TJ Warren went off. He could quite possibly be a playoff X factor alongside Victor Oladipo. You know, depending on if Victor Oladipo does end up playing in the playoffs. I know he's played already, but the playoffs are a different story. So, Philly fans, I do have some good news for y'all. I know y'all need some right now after the crushing defeat that you just had. So, I believe that the Philadelphia 76ers are purposely tanking. I don't know if that inspires inspires you Sixers fans, if it strikes fear into your souls. But the reason I say this is against Miami, which is the team that they would most likely play if they overcame the Indiana Pacers, they are 3-1. I mean, Miami has won three of the games and lost one. So that should scare the 76ers. And then if they were to drop down to the sixth seed and leave, leave Indiana as the fourth, I mean fifth seed, they would most likely play the Boston Celtics. Now, they are 1-3 for three against Boston, meaning they have won three and lost one. So, if you're the 76ers, like, GM, head coach, whatever, and you're looking at that, it's going to look a lot better to play the 76ers, especially when you have Al Horford who's looking to get, you know, revenge, I guess, against the Celtics. Um, Jason Tatum's choked already. Just throw Benjamin on him. It's not looking good if you're a Celtics fan, and it's looking great if you're a 76ers fan. In addition, you would be able to not be forced to play the Bucks until the finals, potentially, which is also very big because you'd have a you know better chance of winning and all that. So I believe the 76ers are strategically tanking. Um, Bull Bull got his first NBA points. Good for him. Shout out to him. Uh... Hopefully he can stay healthy. I think he has tons of potential if he can. Hold up, is he in the game right now? Hold up, he is in the game right now. Shout out to Bobo. Uh, like the video if you like Bobo. Who can't like Bobo? Um, yes. 76ers may be strategically tanking. Surprise, surprise. Never mind, that's Jeremy Grant. Oh my lord. Everyone likes Jeremy Grant, I guess. Uh... Long story short, man, he looks exactly like him, though. But yeah, 76 is a strategically chant. Strate I keep saying strategically chanting. I don't know why. 76 is a strategically tanking. Boston fans should be worried. Uh, Pace has got an absolute steal in Mr. TJ Warren. The Bucks should still be considered the favorites in the East. Uh, Lakers, y'all might want to improve your field goal percentage. Danny Green didn't do too good. LeBron didn't do great. Uh, if this is point LeBron, we might have to get used to that and just make this a new normal almost, seeing as how, you know, not an insane field goal percentage. Did do very well, you know, with rebounds and stuff. King James. Uh, this is a very important run for him, and I can break that down in another... Um, What's it called? Like, episode, I guess. Video. I don't know. Uh, let me know if y'all actually, like, enjoy these. Because, yeah. They're easy for me to make, and I have a low work ethic, which is why you're going to see a lot of them. Plus, you know, I'm a genius. So, I don't know what else to say. Uh, yeah. Does the Clippers losing to the uh, Lakers concern me at all about their finals chances? No, not at all. Clips are still the faves. Um, 
change my mind, like the video, tell a friend about me, that way I can drop out. Um, what else am I forgetting? I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Y'all like and subscribe. Giannis to the heat. Free Bobby Schmurder.